or Pooh Bear here. I'm here with Shea Bear. We just got to our campsite and getting ready to unpack a few things from the car. First thing we're going to unpack is our tent and get it set up. Um, somebody wanted to know what all kinds of stuff we packed. All the essentials, uh, the tent, the tent, the um, bedding. We have bedding rolls. We have a um, air mattress. Uh, all the cooking stuff. Uh, the food. The fishing net, tackle box, of course all the camera equipment. But right now, first off, we're going to start with un unloading the tents and getting them set up for you. Well, here's the trunk of the Buick. What do we pack? If you guys want to remember something when you pack, what you need, what you want to do is what you're going to what you're going to use last put that in first that way it'll be last because like if you're you know you're going to set your shelter up first your tent so what you're going to want to do is pack it last that way it's right on top and here's our tents We've got one for Shauna Bear and ours and there's inside the car we've got our Tack or gear, some extra clothing. Always bring extra clothing, extra boots. Uh, never know when you get wet. Um, it's supposed to rain Monday, so if it does, we're we're pretty well prepared. I mean, if anything, we can always sleep in the car. But I brought along some um, waterproofing for the tent, so we should be okay there. And um, the car is dirty. We're on some back roads out here in the middle of nowhere, aren't we, Pooh? Yep. Okay, the arrow is us. As you can see, there's nothing else on this screen. Nothing. <laughs> Look at her, dead again. I just said, yes we are. I love being on the back road. <laughs> and, um, so this time we didn't blow an air shock like we did the last time, but there's kind of... It looks kind of trashy, but actually it's not. Um, we got the drone. I brought the drone. To, in case I could get an aerial view. Probably won't be able to get this site because I'm not good enough to get it up between them trees. But out there where we turn off on, I'll get a great area of view. There's plenty of, of room to where you can see the lake. It's so oh, probably a quarter mile at least that way. We're kind of at the edge of the end of the lake here. I mean, it still goes down there a little ways back by our old campsites, but we, uh, apparently there's hunters and stuff out here, so it was kind of hard to find a spot. We looked at that spot, and that's all right, but we just, uh, we got a pretty good-sized tent, and, uh, we just looked for someplace flat, so we're kind of, we're kind of limited on where we can go right now with everybody out here. Now, there's a real good spot right there, nice, flat but there's the access to the lake well if somebody comes up here they're going to be there fishing even if they're not fishing i don't want to walk through the campsite you know and i'm sure they wouldn't care people around here we don't care about things like that but you know just don't want to disturb anyone so we're going to try to set up here and i'll be back with you in a minute we're going this, this is going to be a couple different part videos because we got a lot of people want to see different things and we'll go over we'll touch more of that uh in more more in depth as we get things unloaded and we gotta go get a little shauna bear here after bed huh yes and but somebody uh wanted to see how the tent was set up so we're gonna set you up on some tripods and maybe get a couple of different angles and uh show you how to set up a tent and you'll get to see us bicker and <laughs> <laughs> huh yeah all right so we'll be back with you in a minute Okay, YouTube, I have to narrate this because uh, what happened was the camera I'm talking to it was not recording. So, with that being said, I have to narrate this because the camera that is recording this right now did not pick up a voice very well. 
So, all we're doing here is taking down the tent. We're getting ready to uh, put the poles in. But first, when you stake it down, you just you just want it snug. You don't want to make it too tight. It'll rip, and uh, you could have problems later. So, just kind of make it taut, but not super tight. So, after we get the stake down, we're going to put the poles in. Now if you keep watching our little mini series here, when we get to the video where we show our outtakes and bloopers, you'll see at the end of this when I find out that the other camera was not recording. So I, th I thought I hit record, but apparently I didn't, so it's kind of comical because I got a little upset so um, but keep watching our series we have uh, we have some how-to tips and tricks some fun things and some fishing so it's gonna be a couple part um, series at least three at least three series so um, it should be enjoyable for you guys so Like I said, here we're getting the tent poles out, and we'll show you how to put them in the tent and how to set it up. It's not that hard. Now what you should always remember is try not to step on the sides of the tent. As you can see, Pooh Bear was stepping on it, but she didn't mean to. She's so short, and her arms are so short. But um, so, and it's just it's natural just to want to walk over there where you can reach it. But try not to do that because um, the sides they're just nylon and they rip real easy and then you'll have leakage uh, water leak problems later so um, as you can tell right there I was telling her try not to step on it now you can kneel down on it or as you'll see here in a minute or two I'll actually unzip the door and step in onto the floor which of course that'll be fine but try not to step on the sides
as you can see, I am knelt down there, but uh, you, you don't want to walk on it if you don't have to. Now, if Pooh was setting this up herself, she would have to because her arms are too short to reach over where I'm reaching in. If that's the case, you know, you got to do what you got to do, but be very careful if you are doing that. right here I'm just making sure that uh, none of the poles came apart so. and on these tents right there at the silver ring there'll be a little tiny silver rod that sticks up it's about an inch long uh, you just want to stick the end of the tent pole into that and that's what will hold that's what holds the poles in right there keep them from flipping out of there so it's always good to have a, a partner when you're doing something like this it's a lot easier made it easier for me Pooh Bear is always a big help on these uh, trips always offering a hand and when I'm messing something up, she's always there to laugh at me and make me feel better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she's a lot of fun to go camping with. As you can see now, the tent is pretty much up. The rest is kind of self-explanatory. There's uh, the little black hooks you see they'll hook onto each there's two for each rod so when you hook them on it just holds the sides up a little better So there you have it. There's the tank going up. So we're going to show you how to put the rain fly on next. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to show you how to put the rain fly on. One person can do it, but it's always easier with two. All you got to do is drape it over, put your guy lines on, and you're good to go. Let's get started. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Thank you. 
Now your guy lines, you know, you just want to, they're adjustable. You don't want them super tight, but you want them kind of, kind of snug. Like I said, these, these will adjust if you need them longer or shorter. There, if you want it to come out a little farther, you can do that or shorter or whatever. I try not to come out too far, so that way you don't trip over them. So, we're going to do that. Now, first of all, like I said, we have a porch. That camera probably picked it up. You wasn't recording. <laughs> I had you set up, but when you watch a video, you'll see this camera right here doing nothing. But I'll show you how to do the porch. This is just like a little tent pole. Stick it together like that. It's got these little weird looking ends on them. They will go. Uh, well, shoot. You might have seen the two grommets, one there and one there, before we put the diving claw on. That's where these are going to go. But in the meantime, you get your buddy, hold this for you. And right here is just like, just like the tent. It's got a place for this to go through, just like that. Now, if I can get my buddy to grab that in there, the end of it. Let go there. Let go there. That goes there. That goes into that little grommet, and she's on it. She's all over it. There you go. And there's your little porch. And then, like I said, just set your guy lines, you know, taut but not too tight. And just, you know, little adjustments, however you have to do it, depending on which way you think the water's going to come in, whatnot. Um, like the front. I'm going to bring around here. On the other side of the pole, like that. Um, like I said, guidelines will help hold however you want them. So we're going to do that. We're not going. You get the idea. We're not going to bore you with that. Um, but we got a treat for you in the next couple videos, next few segments. Um, um, we're going to we're going to have a few treats. We're going to show you how to build fire. I'm going to show you how to purify water with charcoal. I'm going to show you how to boil water in a plastic jug. That's right. I'm going to boil water over an open fire with the flames licking the plastic jar. So uh, stay tuned. This is really going to be fun.